Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. And today we are on question number four of 1000. And the question is, what is the best software for video editing? Before I tell you which one is the best software for video editing, let us try to understand what video editing really is. Video editing is simply the process of removing unwanted sections of a video clip, rearranging it to create a flow of a story. Then you can add transitions, effects, graphics, music, etc., to create a smooth and visually appealing flow between scenes. So choosing the best video editing software depends on your skill level and the features that you specifically need from an editing software as a video editor. Each and every editing software offers unique features that you might need or you might not need. So if you're choosing a software for video editing, the best software is a software that has got features that you need to edit your videos. So at this point, as a video editor, you need to ask yourself, what features do I need for my video editing and which software has got those features? The answer to that question is the best software for video editing, which is for you. So there is nothing like the best video editing software as each and every software has got its own unique features and it is up to you whether you need those features or you don't. The software can have the best of the best features, but if those features are not needed for you, that software is also not needed for you. Having said that, here are some video editing software suggestions for complete beginners, intermediates, and professionals. If you are a complete beginner and you shoot most of your videos on a smartphone and you want to edit your videos with your smartphone, or anyone who wants a quick and easy way to edit videos on their smartphone, you can check out softwares like CapCut, which is a powerful and user-friendly video editing app for mobile devices. Then we also have InShot, Viva Video, and Adobe Premiere Rush. These user-friendly video editing apps for mobile devices are good for social media content creators, beginners in video editing, and casual editors who want to do quick edits like trimming clips, adding text, and basic effects. I have an upcoming course called Smartphone Videography where I teach how to create better videos using your smartphone from shooting and editing, so I'm going to cover some of these softwares in that course. Make sure you'll be on the lookout when it comes out. In the meantime, just go through some of these softwares and look at their interfaces, check out which of the features you will need for your video editing and which ones you will not need, and just really check out which one you really want to use or which one you feel like you can use among the ones that I've just mentioned. For intermediate uh, video editors, the ones that are not really complete beginners or those that want to do basic video editing but uh, with a computer and a video editing software that doesn't really need a huge computer, you can look at softwares like uh, Pinnacle Studio 26, Vegas Pro 21, Filmora Video Editor or HitFilm Express. These softwares focus on ease of use and they've got a wide variety of effects and templates. It caters for YouTubers, social media content creators, and beginners who want a user-friendly editing experience. Have some time and go through them and see which one have got features that you might want to use in your video editing. The good part is they are user-friendly, they are all user-friendly, they don't consume a lot of computer hardwares, so it can be really like a good starting point. And for professional video editing, there are four video editing softwares that I can recommend, which is Adobe Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and Avid Media Composer. And if I was starting out professional video editing today, the first software that I would pick is Adobe Premiere Pro. The reason is Adobe Premiere Pro is an industry standard professional video editing software. It offers a wide range of uh, powerful features, precise video editing tools, and advanced color correcting and color grading capabilities. While other video editing softwares also have got the same advanced features, but the reason why I choose Adobe Premiere Pro over the others is that it also integrates seamlessly with other Adobe software like uh, After Effects and Photoshop for a complete creative workflow. And the other thing that I love about Adobe Premiere Pro is they are so committed, you know, to bringing uh, new features and serious updates to their program. Like now there is Adobe Premiere Pro Firefly Generative AI, which will enable you to remove things from your video or add other things to your video in real time as you are editing, which is something that I've been really looking for to come into a video editing software. It was there in Photoshop, but now it is coming to 
uh, the video editing software itself, Adobe Premiere Pro, which is really super great. I'm so excited. By the way, I have done a complete masterclass on how to edit videos using Adobe Premiere Pro from beginners to professionals in my course, Video Editing Pro. The next software that I used a lot is DaVinci Resolve. It also has professional grade editing tools and advanced color correction and color grading features, as well as basic audio mixing capabilities. So if you work on projects that need a lot of color grading, I think DaVinci Resolve has got more tools on color grading than any other editing software. Originally, actually, it was just a color grading software, but now it has got really an awesome video editing capability. So it is one software that I can also recommend. Next on the programs that you need to consider for video editing is Final Cut Pro, which is also a powerful editing software designed specifically for Apple computers. And one of its standout feature for Final Cut Pro is uh, its magnetic timeline, easy to use, and also it has got this excellent performance. Unlike Adobe Premiere Pro, which had some history of crashing, Final Cut Pro has got no issues like that. It also offers a large library of uh, effects and support high resolution editing. So if you are on iMac or any Apple computer, Final Cut Pro would be the best choice for you. The last one is Avid Media Composer, which is also another professional grade editing software, which is known for its robust script writing and collaborative editing features. This one is primarily used in film and television industry. As you can see, each and every software is unique in its own way. Each software has got its own unique features, so it depends exactly what kind of features are you looking for. So it is best that you go through different softwares and check them out before you actually really decide which one you should use for video editing. You know, this issue of being told go and use this software, you'll find that actually it is not quite doing what you want, but because someone told you that it is the best, then you are forced to stick with it. So it is a good habit to go and check around and see which one has got the better interface, has got better features that fit your workflow, has got effects that you really wanted to use in your videos and stuff like that. And on that note, that is it today for this video. And if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comment section below. Remember, I'm answering 1000 videography questions and now we are on number four. So if you have any question that has to do with videography, you can just drop it in the comment section below and I'll make a video, a detailed video just like this one. 